Hey there guys and welcome back to Prototype. I know Thursday is supposed to be Osiris Wrath Day, but I didn't have a lot of time today, so I swapped them around. Osiris Wrath is probably coming tomorrow. And let's see, do I want to buy some more upgrades before doing the next mission? Uh, I guess I'll buy the regeneration rate boost. Help me heal up from damage a little bit faster. Not that I've taken that many damage before, but the game's gonna get harder sometime, I hope. Where are they landing? Southeast Manhattan, but the carrier, the USS Reagan, is supposed to remain off the southern coast. I wonder where those trucks are heading. Wherever they're going, I'm betting McMullen is there. He did this to me, and I'm gonna find out why. And then? Then I'm gonna make sure he never does it to anyone else. Ever again. And I don't think he means that he's going to sit down and talk it over with McMullen. Well, he might talk it over with McMullen's decapitated head or something. That's more Alex's style. Jeez. Long loading screen. Oh, Black Watch headquarters, we get another cutscene. I guess. Watch Madison Coast status right crown. Shit. This is a fortress. Someone here knows McMullen, and they'll tell me everything they know. Now that I doubt. I believe it's gonna go more along the lines of we eat them and then we know everything they know. Cause Alex doesn't tend to leave a lot of people alive to do talking. And crap, they have a lot of those virus detectors around. And I kinda wanna do this carefully. Like, not... Ah, uh, crap. Okay, forget about stealth. Time for ass-kicking. Running, running, running. And do I want to disguise? Yeah, I want to go to disguise now. And they've lost me. Okay, let's give the stealthy approach another go. Just need to make sure that I don't get noticed. So jump off. And slow down. This is not suspicious or anything. Oh, okay, nice landing here. And... Oh crap, someone saw me. They're not raising the alarm yet. I'm going with my gun having a look. Yeah, go ahead and have a look, pal. Hi there, nothing suspicious. I'm just coughing. And punching at the air. Doo-doo, yeah, I lost my gun somewhere. That can happen to soldiers, right? And I'm... Um, Totally not suspiciously climbing the wall like Spider-Man right now. Although I think Spider-Man can actually do it quite a lot faster than that. And I don't want to give my uh, give away my cover, so I'm just gonna walk slowly or jog, I guess. Landmark collectible. It's pretty much in the middle of the freaking street for some reason. Okay, access. How do I get in there? Well, there's a door, but there's a virus detector right next to it. Crap, I'm in its range. Get out, get out, get out. That's gonna be a problem. Let's see, how am I going to handle this? Just rush past before it detects me. And I'm out of range again, excellent. He's in charge. He's the one I want. How does he know that? Well, I guess he does look, he does wear a different uniform than all the other soldiers here, so I guess that does mean he has a higher rank. But that doesn't automatically mean that he's the guy in charge. There could be someone even higher ranked sitting inside the building. And stealth consuming is pretty much not an option here. Because there's way too many people around for that. So, I guess we'll just have to blow our cover. And squish. Splatter his brains all over the pavement. How gruesome. Okay, what do you know, pal? We know Zeus has been spotted multiple times in this area, and we're breaking out some new tech to pin him down. This unmanned aerial vehicle can detect the virus at less than 10 parts per million in open air. With it, we should be able to box Zeus in and destroy it. Fuck, I gotta take them out before they find Dana. Well, if you need someone to deal with Zeus, then why not bring in Kratos? He does it pretty easily. But yeah, 
kind of sucks that they've invented something that can pretty much track Alex's whereabouts because they can also track where he's been. I don't want to destroy this thing because it's making the worst beeping noise. There we go, much better. So, yeah. If they've deployed these detectors all throughout the city, they can pretty much detect where I've been, which includes the safe house where Dana is. And that's bad. To bust out the hammer fists, wreck this tank, just for the heck of it. Could have hijacked it, but I felt like breaking something. Those UAVs can detect where I am and where I've been. They'll pick out Dana's safe house, and I can't let that happen. Those things really remind me of those things from Metal Gear. You know, the one that Snake uses in Brawl to fly up on as his recovery move. And I don't know why you equip the whip fist there, because you really don't need that to take care of the UAVs. Because they're really not flying all that high, you can just jump and karate kick. One kick will do. And then just break the tanks right open with the hammer fists. And... Patrol destroyed. Okay, that's it. Nope, there seem to be more. So yeah, this mission basically has you running all over the city, destroying a whole bunch of patrols. And none of them really ever get close to... Splat. Just fill up the health bar a little. Not that I need it, I wasn't even close to dying, but still. Car flip. And take that. It's my gift to you. A pretty sturdy tank if it can survive a car being thrown at it. And I was going to say something, but I forgot what it was. And it's a good thing the UAVs... A oh, damn it, missile to the face. Gotta be all these soldiers walking around here. No UAV. Go down. Alright. Running, running. Just vaulting over cars. It's so awesome. I must say, Alex does have a cool set of powers. If I could choose one set of... Oh, your head goes splat. If I could choose one set of superpowers, like one character's superpowers, I would probably go with Alex. I mean, come on. The guy can pretty much do anything he wants. He's super strong, super fast, can fly, change his body into whatever he wants. That's freaking awesome. And another patrol coming up, so pick up this. Prius, I'm gonna say it is. I'm really bad with, like, car manufacturers and stuff. I used to know pretty much all of them when I was a kid. I don't know why, I guess it was a really big, like, car nut when I was a kid. If we were driving on the freeway with my parents and stuff... Oh, sorry there, uh... Oh, there was a soldier. No need to apologize for that. We were like driving on the freeway and we were driving behind a car or in front of one or we saw a parked car somewhere and my mom or dad would say, uh, Hey boy, what's, uh, what, what kind of car is that? Just point at the little logo at the front and I would pretty much always get it right. You have your Fords and your Opals and your Volkswagens and your Chevrolets and your Ferraris and your... Uh, Renaults, I think. Wait, I'm trying to pick this bus up, but I guess that's where Alex draws the line. So he can lift cars, but he's not strong enough to pick up buses, I guess. Or maybe they just didn't make you, make it able for you to, make it possible for you to pick up buses, because those would be kind of hard to carry around, I guess. Especially because he carries everything sideways, so you'd pretty much take up the entire street if you're carrying a bus. Sweet team, Alpha Juliet, report. Oh crap. Not good. Come here, car. I need you. Can you imagine what it would be like to... Whoa! Blow up some cars and some people? Yeah, way to go, soldier. Just cause more casualties while you're at it. And curiously... The infected are nowhere to be found. It's rather weird, considering 
the game kind of revolves around them. I mean, they're the big plague that's going on, and yet they are nowhere to be found in this part of the city. Yet. Oh, I want to get that. It's kind of hard with it. Oh, you just run up buildings with car. With a car in my hands. That is a genius. Alright, here you go. Right on top. And it doesn't seem to have caused that much damage. But it doesn't need to because I have hammers on my hands and they can pretty much break those things open like they're tuna cans. Tuna fish, you know, comes in cans. I don't like it. I'm not too fond of fish myself. Probably because of a traumatic experience from my childhood when I almost choked on a fish bone that was in a piece of salmon. Oh, well, you sure, I can pick up a tank, but I can't pick up a bus. I'm pretty sure that tanks weigh an awful lot more than buses do. I don't know, maybe I need to ask my uncle. My uncle's a bus manufacturer. Maybe he knows how heavy your standard bus is. Although I don't think he knows how heavy your standard tank is. Because, come on, who knows that unless you're like a mechanic in the military. Or you've watched a documentary on Discovery Channel once or something. Gotta love how there's like all sorts of programs on there that are just giving away military secrets and stuff. I mean, sure, what if Al-Qaeda's watching that? That's bad for America. Not that I'm... I'd be a victim of that because I'm not living in America. And likely never will. Well, I can't guarantee that. Who knows, I mean, this country is slowly starting to go to hell as well. So who knows, maybe I will go to America sometime. And live there in the future. And go to PAX and E3 and all the other things. Conventions. Oh, Jesus. Freaking car just... Did he just blow up his own tank? Pretty sure I didn't deliver the finishing blow there. Way to go, team killer. Whoa. These guys sure love to shoot... Missiles that aren't even locked on. From really long distances. But you're obviously never ever going to hit someone. Oh, hey. That is a web of intrigue target. People involved in the whole situation. If we consume them, we can gain more memories and yada yada yada. Basically, just extra backstory, kind of. So let's see what he has to offer. As of today, we are folded under control of 1st Biological Warfare Command out of Fort Detrick. They're calling the shots on this. I don't want any fucking lip. They tell you to jump, you jump. Do not mistake these guys for dabbers. They have seen serious shit in the past. They were cleaning toilets at an Indian restaurant. I can only imagine the deplorable state that a toilet at an Indian restaurant must be in. I mean... Something I've been wondering, do Indians experience all the nasty side effects that come with eating Indian food? Like, pretty much being forced to stay within three feet of a toilet for like three hours? Saw that on Family Guy today. I really love what they've done to Comedy Central in my country now. It's, uh, Comedy Central starts airing at 11 a.m. Until... I think a couple hours past midnight, like until 4 a.m. or something. Sadly, they don't always air good stuff. Now, I might not speak for everyone here, but... Can someone please explain to me how and why Seinfeld is funny? Because I fail to see that. I'm not particularly fond of Scrubs either. It's pretty awful. And what else do they have? They have Family Guy, American Dad, Cleveland Show, South Park. Oh, that's good. I like to watch that. Community is pretty funny on occasion. Uh, what else do they have? They have... Melissa and Joey, I'm not entirely sure what that is, but I don't like it. For some reason, they're airing Friends now. I guess that's a comedy these days. Well, I guess it 
sitcom comedy, I guess it kinda goes. But there's one show on there I absolutely cannot stand. Anyone ever heard of Kenny vs. Spenny? That is the most fucked up TV show I have ever seen, and I've seen stuff like Fear Factor and stuff. Everything was getting worse. There were outbreaks across the city. There were hunters now, thanks to Green. Black Watch quarantined the island. It became clear to me that McMullen, Gentex director of research, had linked us all together. He worked for Black Watch. He had studied Green. Karen and I had worked for him, you know, before. He knew who I was, and maybe what had happened to me. I thought, when I find McMullen, I find myself. Well, what did he tell you? McMullen? Lots of things. Some of them even true. And then? Then? Well, then he died. Now that's kind of a casual way of bringing it. It's like, oh yeah, uh, yeah, he died, yeah, no big deal. So... Wonder how many days have passed since then. Day 6 of infection, 20% of the total population infected. Uh, how many people live in New York again? A couple of million? I think I actually read it somewhere sometime that New York almost has as many inhabitants as my entire country. Now, of course, the country I live in is not particularly large. It's among the smallest countries in Europe. But still... Enough, almost enough people in one city to match an entire country. And let's see, I will buy Dashing Slice and I bought a new power, Muscle Mass. Which I will be showing off. Uh, oh, okay, mission's right here, that's convenient. Uh, damn it. Spider-Man? No, not gonna do the Spider-Man, it takes too long. Let's see, no, I don't want Hammer Fists. No. Uh, here we go, muscle mass. What this power does is basically you still do all your normal attacks as if you were unarmed, but they're much stronger and you can throw stuff much harder and further and stuff. It basically makes you stronger overall. Thanks for watching, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.